Bills Mafia. Let me tell you something. You guys got a lot of good news coming in, and we're going to start with this. So your linebacker, Matt Milano, has agreed to a four-year, $44 million extension to stay with the team. He is getting a four-year, $44 million extension, and $24 million of it is guaranteed. This was reported by Adam Schefter, ESPN reporter. Um, unfortunately, he missed six games in the 2020 season, um, and during his absence, obviously, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, Nate. I mean, the Buffalo Bills did a very good job without Matt Milano, but no doubt about it, Matt, Matt Milano is still a very big piece of that Bills defense. Um, besides those injuries, besides of 2020, he played 44 out of his 48 possible games entering the 2020 season. So he is very durable besides that one injury. Um, and they say he is the, and he is definitely one of the Buffalo Bills' best cover linebacker uh, for the past three seasons. Uh, so you know what, Nate? I'm going to start with you. Your thoughts on Matt Milano getting an extension from the Buffalo Bills? Uh, well, first of all, congratulations to Matt Milano and the Buffalo Bills. I wish him both the best of luck. Uh, I'll, just give you, I'll just give you some of his stats. Uh, he has 273 tackles, including a career best 101 in 2019. He's had six sacks and five interceptions in 54 career games. So he's actually, yeah, he's, yeah like, like you say, he's not a bad linebacker. Uh, obviously, the one thing I'd be concerned about is injury, but like you said, he is durable, so I I do hope that he is um he is as durable as uh, as ESPN says he is, or as the Bills say he is. Um, but yeah, I mean, as a result, you know, he you know, even though the Bills lost three games in this in in uh, the six teams that he was out, they also won three games in his absence. So it goes to show you that they can do you know, even though that he's a key piece of this defense, they can still do good without him, you know. But obviously, you know, without him, it's obviously shown that. You know, there are times where they can't, but um, with that being said, you know, I do wish uh, Matt Milano the best of luck in Buffalo. He's there for the next four years, so that's good. Hopefully he stays healthy and he's willing to um, help the Bills go to a Super Bowl and within the four, four years. I can see it happen, to be honest. With the team that they got, they keep that team. They, I can definitely see it going to the Super Bowl. They were very close this past season. They can do it. I really do believe they can. So uh, with that being said, you know, good luck to Matt Milano and Buffalo Bills. Yeah, I'll pick it up from there. Uh, good luck to Matt Milano. Um, not a bad linebacker is a very understatement, Nate. This guy is a very underrated linebacker. When you have five interceptions as a linebacker, that is that is absolutely a great stat to have. Um, like you mentioned, that was in 2019, right? He had five interceptions, or was that his career in total? No, his no. I was talking about how he had 101 tackles in 2019, which was his career best. Okay, you said – I thought you said five interceptions. Yeah, those are like yeah, those are his in the in the games that he played in the fifty four. Okay, so career wise, he has five yeah. interceptions. Okay, yeah. So I mean, regardless, I mean, twenty eighteen, he had three interceptions. Like he's a very good cover linebacker. You know what I'm saying? He's a very good cover linebacker. And the Buffalo Bills, I think they could have definitely used that, especially against the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, especially stopping somebody like Travis Kelsey. You could have definitely used a Matt Milano for that game. It would have definitely helped. Um, but yeah, I think this is definitely a move that the Buffalo Bills uh, were playing smart with, you know, re-signing Matt Milano. And it's a pretty good contract, too. You're getting paid, he's getting paid $11 million a year. You know, it's uh, $24 million of that total contract is guaranteed. So he's getting a little bit of money in his pocket. The Buffalo Bills didn't have to go too extreme into signing him, into uh, signing him or extending him. I think it's a very, I think this was a very good extension for both sides. And obviously, I don't think Matt Milano wanted to go anywhere, you know, especially with the fact that the Buffalo Bills are just heating up, you know. I truly believe they're just heating up. I truly believe uh, Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, um, trying to think that defense in general, I truly think there's there's no place but up for them right now, you know. And, I mean, look, the future in Buffalo looks very bright. And I'm a Vikings fan, so the Vikings and the Buffalo Bills have a lot of like similar history, you know, four Super Bowls, not winning one. So like, I definitely feel for the Buffalo Bills, you know what I'm saying? So at a, keeping Matt Milano, I think was a very, very great move by the Buffalo Bills. So with that being said, I wish Matt Milano the best of luck. I wish the Buffalo Bills the best of luck. And I'm curious to see how they're going to do this season.